Since we can add vectors together, and if you're not sure about that, check out my GCSE video on it, it makes sense that we should be able to break vectors up as well into their component parts. That's what we're going to look at in this lesson video. Of course, we're also looking to why you would want to. Actually, let's start with why we want this. It's basically because in the real world, things don't just behave in up, down, left, right directions. Here's a hill with a skateboarder near the top. As gravity pulls on the skateboarder, they roll down the slope. Gravity acts straight down through the center of mass. And the skateboarder moves this way at an angle of 80 degrees to the direction of their weight. If we want to know their acceleration, well, it's due to gravity. But it's not 9.81 meters per second squared. F and A in the equation, F equals MA, need to be in the same direction. So what is the force down the slope? Well, imagine we break the force due to gravity into two components, like so. Only this green arrow contributes to the acceleration of the skateboarder. So, by breaking a force into its components, we can solve real-world problems. It's useful. How to do it is very simple, but needs some practice. First, choose how to break them up. What you're looking for is to have all your forces perpendicular to one another. This force vector could be split up in a number of different ways. As long as the start and end points don't change, it works. So only one of these examples is sensible. Once you've done that, you can sketch it out and put in the angles that you know. If you don't know any angles, you're going to be stuck. So look for the information in any question that you're looking at. So in my example here, I've said the slope is 80 degrees from the vertical. Let's look at a bigger triangle of the forces. It's a right angle triangle, so cos theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. So the force down the slope is W cos theta. I remember the rules using my old school. Old Hamptonians are hairy old apes for sine cos tan, as that's how they're written on the calculator. Or what you could remember is that these two lines are cozy together around the angle. The other component of the force will be given by sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. So it is W sine theta. This is going to need some practice. It's going to come up a lot in physics and in mathematics as we look at velocity, displacement, acceleration, momentum and more. So take the time to do lots of practice questions to build up the automaticity that comes through repetition and review.